Mike Sando did an interesting thing. You brought it to my attention. Tell everybody what it was. Yeah, Greeny, he worked for The Athletic, and what he did was poll a number of NFL front office executives, so people that work for NFL teams. And what he did was he had them rank all 16, all 16 teams in each conference heading into the season, and then using their feedback, he essentially spat out a power ranking of teams, 1 through 16 in each conference. Okay, fair enough. So 1 through 16. There were five observations that I made that were worth noting. So the fifth one that I made that was worth noting is that it is going to be a long winter in Chicago. He has the Bears, not he, they, these, these front office executives rank the Bears 14th out of 16 teams in the NFC. Let me say that again. The Bears, who were a playoff team last year at 8-8, eight at eight, he ranks them, or they are ranked. I need to see, stop, stop saying that. This is not Mike Sando's opinion. They are ranked 14th out of 16 teams in the NFC. That feels very low to me. There are other bad teams in the NFC. Well, I don't want to give away one of them that's coming up later, but it just feels to me there are other teams in the NFC that they are better than um, because they are at least well above average on one side of the ball. Like their defense, even if their defense isn't elite, which Rex always says they're not elite, they're not elite, maybe they're not, but they're at minimum good. They're good enough defensively that I just don't think they become the third worst team. Now, Andy Dalton, does that inspire a lot of confidence? I don't know. Perhaps not. Justin Fields, when do we see him? I don't know. Might be a little while. I'm start I I actually am one who believes it's gonna be a little longer mm. than people expect before we see Justin Fields. But one way or another, that's the first observation that I made coming out of this is that it's going to be a long winter because they ranked the Bears 14th out of 16 teams in the NFC. The next observation is the wild, wild west. According to these executives, three of the five best teams in the NFC are in the west. The Rams, the Seahawks, and the 49ers. And actually, Arizona, he ranks, I believe, eighth, Ninth. right? Ninth. So four of the top nine teams are all in that division. That division is insanely competitive. He likes the in this order, Rams, Seahawks, Niners, but all super high up there. So three of the five best in the NFC are the Rams, Seahawks, and Niners, which generally tends to mean that the division will cannibalize itself. And in a sport where you're only going to get one buy per conference, the chances of the Rams, who I think are the best team mm -hmm. in that division, or any of them, getting that by are pretty slim when you consider they're going to have to fight it out amongst each other. That's why the NFC East, if you thought there was a team in there that was great, you would say, well, this is the team that might come away with the number one seed. Inexplicably, this poll has the Washington football team 10th in the NFC. The Cowboys 7th. It's ludicrous. It's ludicrous. This makes me question the football acumen of people who work in the business of football. How does anyone look at those teams? I, Bubba, in an honest moment, you are a crazy Cowboy fan. I don't have a horse in this race. I don't care one way or another who winds up winning that division. Do you genuinely believe in your heart the Dallas Cowboys are a better team top to bottom than the Washington football team? <laughs> top to bottom, baby. <laughs> See, so, uh, but I know that if he really meant that, he wouldn't go into his Bubba speak. See, Bubba, had, what you may not know, is that Bubba is a very tricky, sneaky person. Uh, long before his career in radio broadcasting, Bubba worked for the CIA, so he's a spy. A and so he knows how to trick people. He knows how to use voice inflection. That was actually his area of expertise. He did a dissertation on that um, for his Ph.D. at Harvard. And so he understands that, and I, I have learned the vocal cues, the verbal cues of Bubba. But even he knows that the, the Washington's defense is elite, as good as any in the sport. Let's even say we believe Dallas's offense is that, which I'm not convinced I believe, but let's even say they're that. Washington's offense is way better than Dallas's defense. It's not even close. Unless Dan Quinn is the greatest assistant coach in the history of any sport that defense will be lucky to be above awful this year. Last year, they were as bad as anybody. Washington's offense is good. I just did the essay last week. You can see it. It went viral 
they, they've got players nobody knows. Antonio Gibson and Curtis Samuel and uh, Terry McLaurin, all these guys no one talks about. And then the question is, can Fitzpatrick get it done at quarterback? Uh, to me, ranking Washington the 10th best team in the NFC is absolutely ludicrous. Greeny with you on ESPN Radio. Five's our observations from this really interesting football poll. These executives say the biggest lock to win any division is the Green Bay Packers. Mm. And here's how I read that. They have the Packers up at the top, I believe, second in the NFC. The next highest ranked team in the NFC is Minnesota at eight. They believe that division stinks on ice. I already told you they have Chicago 14th and they have Detroit last, right? Detroit is 16th. So they're saying these, and I, this one I don't argue with much, that the distance between Green Bay and everyone else in their division is wider than that distance is in any other division in the entire sport, which suggests to me that the Packers are a decent bet to get the bye. Mm. They did it last year. They had the one seed last year, and the entire route through the playoffs went through Green Bay. And if it happens again, look, it, didn't, it wasn't enough for them to beat Brady last year. Maybe it wouldn't be again, but it certainly helps. The bye week and the home field advantage certainly helps. How much better do you think New Orleans is than Minnesota? Much. Much better. Because I am a believer in Jameis. Mm. And I don't know when Michael Thomas is going to come back and play, but I think Jameis makes that offense, if anything, even more dangerous. Mm. And I think they're going to be good. I think New Orleans is being sold short by a lot of people. So we will see. And then finally, <laughs> my number one observation is that it's going to be a long winter in New York. They have the Jets ranked 15th out of 16 teams in the AFC, and they have the Giants ranked 15th out of 16 teams in the NFC. Which of those is further from true? Let's get into this. Let me get Nuno in here, my Giant fan. Nuno, are the Giants better than the 15th best team in the NFC? <laughs> Probably. Yes, they are. Uh, say listen, it. Say I, it with your chest. No, because... You see, I didn't want to do this. I'm back from vacation. I had a decent vacation because I was <laughs> off. Um, I just have well, no what do you faith mean you had in a decent vacation because you were off. Well, By yeah. definition, you were off. What made it decent? I mean, because I was off. I didn't do much. I kind of just hung out. Um, What'd you do? Give me, give me a, a day on a vacation for Nuno. I, the Sunday leading into my vacation, I had a wedding for a really good friend. Nice. Saw a lot of people. That's fun. I haven't seen it. Yes. Men had a couple of doctor's appointments, did some, you know, spring cleaning as we head into the fall. You know, um, that was your vacation. Yeah. Like I, I didn't do doctor's it. appointments I, I, and spring cleaning. Yeah. Like I'm old, <laughs> greeny. I'm 44. I'm yeah, single. What else am I going to do? It's sad. I, I live a sad existence. <laughs> I think a lot of people would say you're 44 years old and single. You could do a lot of things on your vacation if you wanted to. Yes, possibly. But like I've I've. Gone past the that Giants point. are better than the 15th no, best team. I don't know that. I am worried about it. They have a disastrous offensive line. They're hoping Saquon Barkley can play Week One. Kenny Galladay is probably not going to see the uh, the field Week One. There's so many unanswered. Just that offense scares the heck out of me. Jason Garrett's calling plays. Do you know how bad that great is? Great man, great man. <laughs> All right, Nuno, not as confident as I am in the Giants. I actually think both New York teams are going to be better than that. Maybe not much better than advertised, but better than that. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.